Hey Math Kids, today we're going to go over some of the theorems on your assignment. And they all deal with circles. So we're going to start by drawing a circle. And the first one wants us to pick a couple points on the circle and draw a segment to the center. So we have a couple radii right here. And then we just pick any other point on the circle. And we draw segments from that point. So it's important that these two points, B and C, are the same points. And then we measure these angles. So B, A, C, we get 51.43. Then B, D, C, and that should be half as big every single time. Now, what we can do, we can move these around and just see that no matter where they are on the circle, this one is always going to be half of this one. And so you can play around with it as much as you want. Now, the second theorem is actually just an extension of this theorem. So if we're able to get this at exactly 180 degrees, the larger angle, maybe, make the circle bigger. That'll make it a little bit easier, I think. All right, that's pretty close. Now, if that was exactly 180, meaning this is a diameter, then it creates a right triangle because 180 and then half of that is 90, and that's really all it's saying. So it is the same theorem that this, this angle is twice as big as this, but if we make this a diameter, which means this angle is 180, then this one would be a right angle, or 90 degrees. Cool? All right, I'm just going to refresh this real quick. Okay, this next one's a little complicated. So it, the setup is a little complicated. Understanding it's not too bad. So we just draw a circle, then we need to make a point somewhere outside of the circle. And I'm going to go to this tool and draw tangents. Um, so we want to select the point and then the circle. And then it draws those tangents. And then I'm going to get my segment, or no, I'm not. I'm going to make, where is it? Um, I forgot where it is. Here it is, intersect. So if, with the intersect tool, you can select a line and a circle, it'll do an intersect, line, circle, intersect. So we want those points to be exact. Then we go to our segment tool. I'm going to just make connections from the center to those tangent points. Now, um, what's going to happen is this angle and this angle are supplementary, or meaning they add up to 180 degrees. So we can get our move tool and we can move all these things around. Whoops, not that. We can move this point anywhere we want and we can see if we make them both 90 or close to 90, we see that those would add up to 180, but I can pull them way out here. If you added these two together, they're going to add up to 180 and, you know, no matter where you move it, it's going to add up to 180 degrees. Okay. All right, let's try another one. Okay, we need another circle. This time we just need four points around the outside of the circle. And we already have one. Okay, so when we're doing this, we want it to look like this. And so I'll get my segment tool. So 
So essentially what's going on is both are coming from B and C, and then we're making an angle with E, and then um, we're also making it with D. So if we have that situation, um, let's measure the angles and see what happens. So we're going to measure this angle. And then we're also going to measure this angle. Okay, notice that those are the same. Let's see, let's make this a little bit bigger. Okay, notice that those angles are the same. Now let's measure these two angles right here. So this, this, this. Okay, and notice that those two angles are the same. So if we start from the same two points and then we go to a third point, we'll get an angle. Start from the same two points and go to a different third point, it will create the same angle no matter what. Okay. All right, moving on to the next theorem. Now we just need to draw a polygon inside of this, or sorry, a quadrilateral. Okay, actually, you know what? I'm gonna take that back. I'm gonna approach that different. I'm gonna I'm gonna actually just put the points on the line because some of those I'm not sure if they were actually on the circle. All right, and then I'll just use this polygon tool now. Okay, there we go. Okay, now there's a claim about um, opposite angles in, in this one. So we, we have a theorem right here. It says for a quadrilateral inscribed in a circle, opposite angles are supplementary. So, to show that, we need to measure the angles. And once again, supplementary means they add up to 180 degrees. And so if we add those two together, oops, let's move that inside. So no matter where I move this, or no matter where I move this, those are supplementary. Now if I take this, I can make this bigger, I can move these. No matter what, these are going to add up to 180 degrees. Okay. Now if I take the other opposite angles, they'll do the same. So I can do angle D and I can do angle B. And notice that they are the same. No matter where I move this or change the circle, this one plus this one is going to add up to 180 degrees. Okay, so that should be all of the angles, or sorry, all of the theorems, and you just need to recreate all these situations and then turn it into me. So if you need additional help, please come to Math Lab. Until then, Calculator.